Hi there, welcome to Biblical Stories Explained. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most amazing women in the Bible, Deborah. She was a prophetess, a judge, a poet, and a warrior. She led the Israelites to victory against a powerful enemy, and she inspired a whole nation to worship God. But who was Deborah, and what can we learn from her story? Let's find out. Deborah's name means be in Hebrew, and she was as busy and productive as one. She was married to a man named Lapidoth, which means the lightning. Together, they made a dynamic couple. Deborah had a special gift of hearing from God and speaking his words to the people. She was respected as a wise and fair judge, who settled disputes under a palm tree in the hills of Ephraim. The Israelites came to her for guidance and direction. Deborah lived in a time when the Israelites had turned away from God and worshipped idols. Because of their disobedience, God allowed them to be oppressed by Jabin, the king of Canaan. Jabin had a cruel general named Sisera, who had 900 iron chariots and a large army. For 20 years, he terrorized the Israelites and made their lives miserable. The Israelites cried out to God for help, and he heard them. God chose Deborah to be the leader of his people and to deliver them from their enemies. He gave her a message for a man named Barak, who was the commander of the army of the tribes of Naphtali and Zebulun. Deborah told Barak that God wanted him to gather 10,000 men and go to Mount Tabor, where he would give him victory over Sisera and his army. She also told him that she would go with him, but that the honor of killing Sisera would go to a woman. Barak agreed to go, but only if Deborah went with him. He was afraid to face Sisera without her. Deborah said that she would go, but that because of his lack of faith, he would not get the glory for the battle. She said that God would deliver Sisera into the hands of a woman. So Deborah and Barak went to Kadesh, where they gathered the men and prepared for war. When Sisera heard that Barak had gone up to Mount Tabor, he mobilized his chariots and his army and went to the Kishon River to meet him. Deborah told Barak to attack, because God had already gone ahead of him and given him the victory. Barak and his men charged down the mountain, and God threw Sisera and his army into confusion. They fled before the Israelites, and God used a heavy rain to flood the river and make the chariots useless. Barak and his men chased them and killed them all. Not one of them survived. Sisera, however, managed to escape on foot. He ran to the tent of a woman named Jael, who was the wife of Heber the Kenite. Heber was an ally of Jabin, so Sisera thought he would be safe there. Jael welcomed him into her tent and gave him some milk to drink. She covered him with a blanket and let him rest. Sisera asked her to stand guard at the door and tell anyone who came that there was no one inside. But Jael had other plans. She took a tent peg and a hammer, and while Sisera was sleeping, she drove the peg through his temple and into the ground. He died instantly. Soon after, Barak came looking for Sisera, and Jael showed him the dead body. Barak realized that Deborah's prophecy had come true. God had given Sisera into the hands of a woman. That day, God gave the Israelites a great victory over Jabin and his army. They continued to fight against him until they completely destroyed him. The land had peace for 40 years. Deborah and Barak sang a song of praise to God, celebrating his power and his faithfulness. They also honored the people who fought bravely and willingly for the Lord. They especially praised Jael, who was called the most blessed of women. Deborah's song is one of the oldest and most beautiful poems in the Bible. It shows us how God works through his people to accomplish his purposes. It also shows us how God values women and uses them in his plan. Deborah was not only a prophetess and a judge, but also a poet and a warrior. She was a woman of faith, courage, wisdom, and worship. She was a mother to Israel, who nurtured and protected her children. She was a role model for all women and men who want to serve God and his people. Deborah's story teaches us many lessons. It teaches us to listen to God and obey his voice. It teaches us to trust God and not be afraid of our enemies. It teaches us to work together with God and with others to achieve his goals. It teaches us to give God the glory for everything he does. It teaches us to praise God and thank him for his goodness. It teaches us to respect ourselves and those we work with. It teaches us to exceed others' expectations and stand by our convictions. It teaches us to enjoy personal success and contribute to the success of others. Deborah was a remarkable woman who did remarkable things for God. She was a hero of the Bible and a hero for us today. She challenges us to follow her example and be faithful to God in every situation. She inspires us to use our gifts and talents for God's glory and his people's good. She encourages us to be the best we can be for God and for others. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from Deborah's story. 
If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more biblical stories explained. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your answer to our question of the day, what Bible verse do you turn to in times of struggle? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and God bless you.